your screen and also follow us on our Facebook page SMBC Channel 31 where we start with our first item. The Sierra Leone Association of Social Workers will celebrate World Social Work Day 2024 with a conference which will be hosted by the University of McKinney Unimark and by Kroma University of Science and Technology. The conference will be held on the 19th of March. This event marks a collaborative effort between the Sierra Leone Association of Social Workers and various universities across the country to promote and celebrate the vital role of social work in the country. The theme for this year's conference is the role of social workers in, in fostering a shared future for transformative change in child protection and welfare in the country. Well, for more on the celebrations lined up uh, to mark uh, the day, I have in the studios the financial secretary of the Sierra Leone Association of Social Workers Umu Aiki Jalba. Good morning, Umu, and welcome to the program. Good morning. Now, first of all, let us talk about uh, you know um, 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 the social work day. Well, before going to the social work day, let us talk about um, you know what does social work mean. Um, thank you very much. Uh, this is becoming a very common question I get asked all the time. So, social work is not a new profession. It has existed um, for centuries now, but it's kind of new in Sierra Leone, the concept of what social work is. So social work basically um, is a profession that focuses on well-being and welfare of citizens within our nation. So our focus is um, ensuring that policies and programs are focusing on sustainability in a way that we bring change, but at the same time we foster and protect the future. So we look at sustainability from three angles. We talk about economic development, social development, and environmental development. Um, but for this year, we are focusing on child protection because when you talk about development and sustaining, you always think of the children. How are children protected in our country and how do we ensure that policies that have been formulated will continue to foster proper development for children in Sierra Leone? Okay, now let's talk about this day, the day that you'll be celebrating. You know, social work, as all of us know, is like to help, you know, solve societal problems. You know, a lot of people are having social issues. You know, even some of them, in the Alba they don't really are aware that they are suffering from some social issues. Now, on, on this day, you know, World Social Work Day, what do you want the public to know? Um, so, like, the whole um, idea of um, Social Work Day is around the theme of March. So, globally, March is Social Work Month. Yeah, we try to raise awareness around what we do and who our services affect and the more um, resources that we need to ensure that change is occurring. So um, we chose the 19th because we are going to do the conference at McKinney and we want to raise awareness around child protection. When we look at um, agencies, you know, and the departments that go to the rural areas and talk about child protection, most of the time, they focus on philanthropy, you know, they go donate clothing, donate food items, and think that they are providing um, social protection. But when you talk about social protection for children, we are looking at the rights of children. How do we reinforce the importance of proper development of a child? When you look at some settings in these rural areas, children are given the role of adults. When they expect to provide in the household, they are expected you know, to take care of um, their younger siblings. These are all roles that are being confused. They are placing more responsibility on children. So um, our theme is focusing on how do we ensure that children are being put in a space that they get their full potential. Full potential in the sense that they are being provided all access to what they need, all right, to um, properly develop into a proper citizen within a nation. You know, when you look at issues that occur with the youth, we complain about the youth, um, drug abuse, they talk about, you know, um, clique and other violence that youth people and youth engage in. Most of the time, it starts from when the person is a child. How was this a child raised to the particular space that they do not understand the value of themselves within society? So um, our profession this year is trying to bring focus on policies, you know, that have been developed for decades in Sierra Leone, wherein agencies do not stick to these policies to ensure that rights are protected, you know, and all the developmental um, 
um, projects are being brought in to ensure that we protect the rights of children in Sierra Leone? Okay, now protecting the rights of children, you know, we have seen um, several uh, child welfare organizations, you know, be it local, international, but you still move around, you see still get, uh, children in the street or children on the streets. You know, we know that uh, the, the mosque is doing very well. But then, how do we try to, uh, because the thing is about protecting children, and you see them in the street or on the street, you know, because there's different, there's difference between being on the street or being in the street. But now how do we help solve especially the issue around children in the street or children on the street. Okay, so um, when you look at policies and, and you know, and acts, we have lots of policies that are against, for example, um, child hawking, all right? Children going out, to, uh, to some extent it was implemented when uh, during school hours, if they see children outside that are selling, you know, between the time maybe around 7 a.m. up to 2 p.m., they will seize the child and go to the parents and ask them why this child is not going to school. So we have, we actually have policies, you know, we have projects that have been developed from time immemorial that are focusing on how do we protect children. But most of the time, implementation is the issue. Because when you look at the resources that is placed on social protection in Sierra Leone, the resources, I won't say it's not enough, but it's not focused on protecting children, especially, like you said, children on the streets. All right. So um, we want to draw focus that Sierra Leone has always had policies that clearly reinstates that children should be protected, but implementation or implementing bodies do not support, you know, what is being in, um, written in these um, policies. So at the end of the day, there is a gap between the policy and the children that is supposed to protect. So we are here to like try to reinforce the importance of these policies so that we'll be able to know that children have rights and we should protect these rights at all time. Okay, now, um, uh, during, uh, uh, you know, um, this uh, particular celebrations, um, do you, do you, and you, your target, you, you, your target is the universities, you know, um, why in the first place, why did you decide to take you know, this particular conference to um, UNIMAC and part of the Annex by Roma University of Science and Technology? So, um, we are not targeting universities, we are collaborating with universities because these universities have social work programs, you know. This is the, um, the source for the employees that will be employed to look at child's rights, for example. So we collaborate with our um, universities because they have the hub of social workers, all right. So when we collaborate with them, most of the time we work with students and also we work with graduates of these universities. So we are collaborating with them, but we are not implementing with them because, like we said, we are talking about child protection. Our role now is to ensure that we are bringing light onto these issues that are actually happening in society. And working with universities is very important because, for example, if you look at our final year students, for example, one institution might have 100 students that might be graduating and they might be writing dissertations, for example. So if you go out to these universities and raise awareness on these issues, you'll get at least five or six students that will become interested in these issues. You know, they focus their research and their dissertation on specific um, social problems that are affecting children. And based on these dissertations, most of the time, they'll be able to garner um, attention for projects, you know, and programs that actually look at solving this problem from the level that it's supposed to be. Because some organizations talk about social work, some organizations talk about protection, but mostly what they focus on is philanthropy, going out to society, supply uniform and books, and say, okay, we are helping the children of society. But they still do not address the actual issues that are happening within the communities that are hindering the development of children within that particular space. All right, I thank you so much. And she is Umujalo, the Financial Secretary of the Serious Association of and Social Workers. Well, of the Celebrating World and Social Work Day. We continue with protection. And child prote protection is, is very key, you know, in, in, in social work, because it is the child that is going to grow into an adult, you know, to contribute to society as well. But the thing is, um, how do we address the issue of um, the social protection or child protection? Because the thing is that uh, you should protect the child, but you should not also overprotect. When you overprotect a child, that also has its own negative effects on the child. So, 
talk to us about um, you know, how should we <coughs> protect a child without you know being overprotective. Um, um, interestingly, I don't want to like give statistics or anything, but when you look at the children of Sierra Leone, most of the time, protection is um, is not most of the time the priority of child raised as people are raised children in Sierra Leone. Um, like I said earlier, expectations are placed on children, like adults' responsibilities are placed on children. So our focus on talking about child protection is there's no such thing as you protect your child until you overprotect them because overprotection to an extent is also harming that child. So we talk about, you know, monitoring your child, disciplining your child. And when you talk about discipline in Sierra Leone, they think it's um, beating your child, you know, or punishing them. But discipline, basically, it's talking about ensuring that you inform your child of what is wrong and right so that they are aware of the choices that they'll be making. That is what discipline is about. So um, our profession focuses on, like I said, protecting the vulnerable children and also at the same time disciplining them so that even if you are not around, they are aware of what consequences are of actions. All right? Because most of the time people say, oh, you come to the community and you tell us about the child rights, and because of that, the children are not working with us, the children are not concentrating in the household, they are going out and all that. We are not asking you to neglect your child when we talk about child protection. Child protection, for example, is ensuring that you are feeding your child. It's ensuring that you are enrolling your child to school. It's ensuring that you are monitoring that that child is going to school. All that is child protection. But for example, our society. So because we say you should protect your child's rights does not mean that you should not teach them about responsibility. You just say that when you are giving them responsibilities, you should be aware that there are certain areas that you need to be aware of before you give them specific responsibilities. All right, uh, thank you so much. I'm Omo Jalo. Uh, Omo is the uh, financial secretary of the Sierra Leone Association of Social Workers as they are joining all, all the countries around the globe um, to celebrate World and Social Work Day. And of a, a program yesterday watching is Good Morning Sierra Leone. We go for a very short break. Who are likely going to be the speakers? Um, like I said, most of our speakers will be um, experienced social workers. Because even though it seems as if social work is a new concept in Sierra Leone, we actually have um, people that have studied social work, all right? They have a um, PhD in social work. They have only, I don't think we have a person with, with a PhD in social work. But we have people with um, degrees, master's degrees in social work, but they are not usually um, employed out in the public space. Most of the time it's just private employment when they work with private companies and then they leave after um, implementing policies and programs that they are assigning to them. So um, basically social work is not new so we expect experts to come in. We also have people that not have social work degrees but have been practicing social workers for year, uh, social work for years. Like we have some employees in the ministry, for example, that have worked in child protection or gender protection for 10 to 15 years. They have experience on what it takes to be a social worker, but they don't have the, the, um, they don't have the expertise in paper about what they are doing. They even um, utilize practice models that, that are taught in university level, but because um, they are not that educated, they are not allowed to share their opinions. So for us, that they would like to add, um, highlight veterans in the profession so that they'll guide the younger generations, especially me and other colleagues that teach um, social work, on how to properly navigate, how to properly teach what social work is, and how to reinforce sensitization in the mindset of students within our institutions. Now, this um, um, organization that you're having, you know, the Sierra Leone Association of Social Workers, um, how decentralized is your organization? Because we have social issues across the board, you, you know, and uh, we know that uh, social work is taught in Freetown, in Makini, uh, you know, at uh, Jala, as the case may be. But let us know um, how decentralized, uh, especially your organization, the Sierra Leone uh, uh, you know, Association of Social Workers, Okay, so um, with regards to um, opening up about our organization, it's very new, it's fairly new. Our organization is less than a year old. And um, the reason being, there was no body in place responsible to actually um, formulate the group. And people were hesitant because of some inner issues um, that people do not understand that are happening. 
But we realized that um, for us to get international accreditation, because when we talk about social work, in other countries, they have what they call licensure, wherein for you to be able to practice social work as a social worker, you need to register and get a license, just like how a doctor gets a license or a lawyer has a license to practice for a nurse license. So uh, we have come together, past social work students that have been engaged in the field. We've come together to try to ensure that we push the Ministry of Social Welfare to fast track the Social Work Act, because they are working on the Social Work Act to be able to define the profession as a 